everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica. In today's video is going to be a back to school Osborne haul. Now this is going to be a haul where I purchased everything somewhat with the intention of using it for Emily's sixth grade homeschool year, which would be 2023, 2024. Um, but keep in mind that this is not all going to be sixth grade stuff. Um, some things Emily still enjoys and so I still purchase them even if they're not on grade level per se. Um, other things, I'll just go ahead and admit that I have an obsessive compulsive disorder. Um, not really, but I really like have a thing where I need, want to have full sets of things. So like if a new look inside book came out, I get it because it completes our set. Um, and because Usborne books are such great quality and Emily takes such great care of them, I intend to keep them for grandkids one day. So know all of that going in. Some of this is going to look kind of young for a sixth grader, but I have reasons for all of it. I'll try to explain as we go, um, but I have a lot of fun stuff. So let's just go ahead and dive in. The first thing I have are these epic historical historic adventures. There are three of them that I know of in the series, the boy and the spy, fearless Frederick, and a great escape. I also grabbed 365 fun ways or cool ways to remember stuff. Um, mainly because there has been a lot of times, like especially recently now that Emily's getting into like higher math than last year, um, where she'll say something about order of operations and I'm like, oh yeah, it's PEMDAS or um, decimals. And I'm like, it's King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. And she stares at me like I'm crazy because that's not um, the way she's being taught, but that's absolutely the way I was taught and the way I remember things. And literally one of the pages that was in here on display was about um, PEMDAS. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get this because it has, I mean, we're talking from memory tricks to punctuation, English, figures of speech, spelling, geography, uh, human body, math, shapes, art, music, and then the best of the rest. So there's tons of like, mnemonic memory palace like all kinds of different ways to remember stuff so i'm hoping that this is going to be kind of a cool thing maybe for even all of us okay this is one of the things i was talking about when i said things um, might appear too young this is the lift the flap look inside volcanoes and earthquakes we own all of the other look insides i needed this to complete the collection and um you will already know this if you caught my homeschool curriculum choices video our first science unit study for the fall, the one that we'll be releasing very, very soon, I'm almost done with it, is weather and natural disasters. And so this kind of was like the perfect companion. And I was like, we need that. And then we have 24 hours in Antarctica. We have enjoyed the other 24 hours books in the series. They um, are written like a comic. That's not even a comic page, but they're written kind of like a comic book and it goes through what a 24 hour day would look like from the time they get up until they go to bed. Usborne lift the flap question and answers about money. Lift the flap question and answers about germs. Lift the flap question and answers about recycling and trash. See inside the microscopic world. I swear that we already purchased this, but it was not on our shelves. I cannot find it anywhere. I'm thinking I might have gifted it to somebody. So if you watch a previous haul and I have this one, we no longer have it, so I bought it again. See inside the solar system. See inside genes and DNA. If you caught our Amazon haul, you will know that I talked about Emily being interested in DNA and having got a kit for her and Kevin to do during their steam days. So I was like, hey, guess what? I got a book for you to do too. And they're excited about that. Lift the flap looking after our ocean. Lift the flap extreme planet, the deep. Between the looking after our ocean and this one, it really makes me want to do our ocean unit study again. Um, this extreme planet, I'm hoping they do others in this series because that's pretty cool. I mean, 
I could see it being a pretty cool series. With the flap looking after our planet. This one I know I have purchased before and I did gift it. So we now needed our copy back. Lift the flap strongest, cleverest, deadliest, fiercest, hottest, loudest, smelliest, and weirdest. Emily's going to come grab this for me as soon as I'm done. She's had her eyes on it since it came in. And then lift the flap mental math. Um, it says lift the flaps and test your skills on roller coasters, river crafts, and more. I'm always looking for any kind of fun way to get math in. Okay. And then I purchased the Spanish wrap ups. We absolutely love the wrap ups and I thought this would be a fun way for her to practice Spanish. Um, basically it has a picture on the left and then you have to wrap it to the correct Spanish word. So there's four, you have learning words, talking basics, making statements, and then asking questions. And there's also an audio CD included as well. And then I also purchased the States and Capital um, wrap up. Apparently the last state based giveaway that I did, I gave away some of our personal stuff, that being one of them. So I had to replace it as well as our copy of Explore America's National Parks. So I needed to replace that one. And then I also needed to get the new Explore America's Wildlife. I think these books are so well done. They're really, really pretty. And some of the activity books. So the Marvels of the USA activity book. Spirit of the USA activity book. Animals of the USA activity book. And Across the USA activity book. And basically those will pretty much be car schooling for any time we do a road trip this year. That was kind of the reason that I repurchased them because like I said, apparently I didn't buy an extra copy last time. I ended up giving away the copy I intended to keep. So I needed those because I want those to be car schooling. And speaking of car schooling, I also grabbed, I did not expect them to be this big. I thought they would be like smaller, but I kind of love that they're this big. The number games to go and the word games to go. It's, I mean, they're, they're pretty large. They're like an inch thick too, but they're really, really like colorful and big and pretty. And so these will be great additions to car schooling as well. And then wind down activities. I thought this would be kind of cool. Um, it even comes with links for relaxing music. It's just you know, activities to help you wind down. It says, take a breath, stretch out, gather some pencils and unwind with this activity book. Perfect for the end of the day or when you need a quiet break, which is pretty much why I got it. I feel like if we're doing something that seems to be overwhelming her, this would be a good way to redirect. Um, and then I got some of the fun new things. So technically, and I said I was born technically, it's paper pie now because they carry like fun science STEM activities, toys, whatever you want to call it. And I am all about that. So I got the all natural lip balm boutique. I thought that would be really fun for Emily to do. Like I said, some of this is just fun stuff. A lot of this I'll probably strew or leave out for her or do as an activity on a rainy day. Who knows? The storm watcher weather lab. Of course, this is to go along with our upcoming unit study. the organic science lab. This is 30 organic chemistry activities. I thought this would be a really, really good addition to the same days that Kevin and Emily do. They will not do the whole thing at one time. They'll like, you know, do a few here and a few there, but it will give them something new to add. And then kind of the same thing with this one, the outdoor science lab. It is bugs, plants, and dirt, and it has 21 hands-on nature activities. And since nature study is our one thing this year, I thought this would maybe be a good way if we needed to change it up to kind of get outside and do something in nature. And then I could not pass up these tiny things because they're just 
so stinking cute. So we have tiny art. And what's so cool about it is that it's cute, but it's also like actual activity. So this is 10 enormously artistic activities. We have tiny science. This one has 20 activities. Tiny ice cream with 15 activities. Tiny solar system with 10 different activities and tiny gardening with 20 activities. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that this, like some of these little things, like this little solar system, Emily is dead set on as soon as we're done with it, she wants to keep it for her American girls because she thinks it's all the perfect size for them and it actually probably is. So it's like double duty. We're gonna get to do all these fun science activities, it's hands-on STEM type things, and then she also gets American Girl toys out of it because it's all pretty much the perfect size for American Girl. So that is it. That is everything for the back to school Osborne or paper pie haul. Now, if you didn't make sure you go check out my Amazon haul, which I will link right here because that one was huge. That is pretty much everything that we're going to need for the entire school year. And this one was mostly just fun supplemental things. Um, and I would love it if you would tell me in the comments, something that you have bought for your homeschool for the upcoming year that you are super excited about.